Bobby D, Bogey, Cagney, and Edward G. Those are the intimidators on the screen, but we're talking about the intimidators on the ice. And for that, we thank Cindy and Jay Fine for the idea and Movie Star News on 18th Street for the atmosphere. Now, in the old days, it was Gordy Howell, the number one intimidator in the NHL. And if he was being played by Jimmy Cagney, it would be something like this. You dirty rat. And if Edward G. Robinson was playing the number one Ranger intimidator, Louis Fontanato, he'd be saying, I'm the boss around here, see? But we're talking about today's intimidators, number one on the list, Dino Chara, the biggest player in NHL history. There is no charity in Chara. He'll pick on little guys like Brian Gianta. The guy can fight his father, an Olympic wrestler. Don't mess with Big Z. In second place, Chris Pronger, the Flyers, the perfect Broad Street bully. He is the envy of Lumberjacks because he can chop players down. He'll cross-check from behind. And let me tell you something. Stay away from Chris Pronger. Third place, I got a surprise. Dustin Bufflin of the Blackhawks. I call him a skating Sherman Tank. He'll run down anybody. He can score goals. Reminds me of the great Cam Neely, one of the all-time power forwards who can fight. In fourth place, the ultimate goon. What a name, Derek Bougard. You say boo to this guy, you better keep your guard up. He's about six foot seven, 245 pounds. Anybody who fights with him has got to be nuts. And in fifth place, sort of a smaller player, at least relatively, Cam Jansen of the St. Louis Blues. He is like a heat-seeking missile. You never know when he's going to crash into you. And at U.S., Thomas Cabley was one of his victims. Recently, Jansen got suspended. He's got to watch his step, but you have to watch Jansen. Those are my top five. Any objections, any ideas, send them into msg.com slash HNL. Hit the five for Fischler module. Next week, we have the best Europeans in the NHL. So remember, keep your eye on the puck and keep your head up. You know, it's no secret that Amari Stoudemire has tried hard to get on this show. Well, our show is jam-packed. So last week, we made a couple phone calls and was able to get Amari on another popular talk show. It's time now to go off the court. What's going on? Yeah, I can't get on the Mike D'Antoni show, but I'm on the David Letterman show. It's a nice green room. I'm pretty sure they don't have this on the D'Antoni show. Nice. I don't think the D'Antoni show have any, no snacks at all. You know, here we got the mixed fruit, cookies, grapes, cheese. You know, this, this is top notch, this is a top notch show. D'Antoni show, uh, not so much. So we're gonna try to upgrade, you know, the Dan Tony show. If he brings me on as a guest, we're gonna try to bring in some mixed fruit, cheese, and cookies. We'll try to bring in a few things to try to amp up the show a tad bit. You know, so hopefully I'm on the Dan Tony show soon. Stay tuned. I don't know if Mike Dan Tony show is really, uh, you know, I think he need to dress this, you know, this, this up this much for uh, Mike's, Mike's show. Dan Tony show, I don't think it requires a production meeting. I don't know if it's, you know, up to that standard yet, but. Hopefully we can get it up there, but not yet. You guys, you guys uh, don't uh, listen to the coach, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a trick question? No, I just, I mean, uh, what's he gonna say? <laughs> No, yeah, no, coach, coach is great, man. He, I know uh, he's great, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, do you? <laughs> no, we do, we do. Yeah, we of do. course you do, yeah. <laughs> well, he asked me, do we listen to the coach, and he tried to get me to say we didn't, but we do. But, uh, you know, again, the Antonio show, keep it live, baby, go on. Welcome back. You're a star player taking some shots there. Yeah, can you believe that? He doesn't listen to me? You believe that one? And then making fun of the show. Right, that's not good. If we had him on the show, there's no fruit, he'd probably get upset and get a technical. <laughs> <laughs>
better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. And let me tell you, Santa has a lot in common with hockey. In fact, the guy who wrote Santa Claus is coming to town. J. Fred Coots also wrote the Rangers' victory song back in 1940 when they won the cup. And back then, all the NHL teams played on Christmas night. And the Rangers, whether they were great or not so great, they almost always won on Christmas night. Santa was good to them. Stanton's going to be good to some of the needy in the NHL. We start with John Tortorella and his Rangers. What do they need? They need goals, winning goals. We got a whole bucket full of them for John Tortorella and the Rangers. Some other guys who need some help, the San Jose Sharks GM Doug Wilson needs this manual. How to win in the playoffs by Bill Torrey. He won four cups in a row. He knows what it's all about. And how about the New Jersey Devils? Jock Lemaire would love an injury list with nothing on it but a great big smile, a happy face for Jock Lemaire. They've had a ton of injuries so far this year. And the poor Carolina Hurricanes. They had a terrible first two months. They need a good start in the new year and a theme song. Look for the silver lining. And you know what else they need? They need amnesia for the first couple of months of the season. So we give them a nice fresh calendar that maybe has some wins on him. And listen, Sidney Crosby has just about everything, but what he needs most of all is a beard, a playoff beard, because he never grows a playoff beard, even down to the seventh game of the finals. He couldn't grow one, so we give Sidney a nice, big, full beard. And for honorable mention, Stanta has the call to trophy, a rookie of the year for John Tavares. Well, those are Santa's gifts, Stanta's gifts. And if you have any ideas, or you disagree, contact msg.com slash hnl. Five official module. Next week, we have a viewer suggestion, the best defenders. And remember, keep your eye on the puck and stanta. The man is a classic, <laughs> let's say that. <laughs> It's the 15th five for Fischler, the best jerseys. And why am I at Nassau Coliseum? Because this was the scene of the worst jersey in history, the fish sticks. And no, I didn't post for it, but it could be me. If Benny Goodman's band was around, he'd be playing the Jersey Bounce because this jersey should get the bounce. What's the best? The Chicago Blackhawks. It's brash. It's beautiful. It's worn by Tays Kane and Keith. Goes back to the roaring 20s. The owner of the team, Fred McLaughlin, had been in the Blackhawk division in World War I, and that got its name from the famed Indian Chief Blackhawk. Second place, the CH of the Montreal Canadiens, now worn by Gianta Gomez and Camilleri. That CH stands for Club de Hockey Canadien. They go back to 1917 when the NHL was formed. And in French, they call it the Blue Blanc et Rouge, which means blue, white, and red. And speaking of red, the Detroit Red Wings in third place with Dotsuk, Zetterberg, and Lidstrom wearing it now. Big Jim Norris bought the team. He was a Montrealer, belonged to the Montreal Athletic Association, and its symbol was the wing wheel. He took that wheel and he brought it to the Motor City. And this is such a neat jersey that the Philadelphia Flies actually copied it when they came into the league in 1967. How about expansion teams? How about the Sharks with Thornton Marlowe and Heatley? What a dandy this is with that beautiful teal color and that crazy shark taking a bite out of a hockey stick. I always loved teams that had stars, starting with the New York Americans in 1925. Well, now the Washington Capitals have continued the tradition, and they have stars, Knubel, Green, and the star of stars, Alexander Ovechkin. And by the way, an honorable mention, my favorite jersey of all time, speaking of stars, the star spangled skaters of the U.S. Coast Guard from World War II. I think this is the best of all time. If you disagree, let me hear from you. If you got any ideas, contact msg.com slash HNL, the five official module. And next week, the best captains. And remember, keep your eye on the logo.